I'll do everybody. Welcome back. The yeah, that game. Last time we reset, uh, cause cause I messed up some stuff, you know, man. Uh, I'll let it begin. <clears throat> I only have time actually for probably what time? Yeah, I got time for one episode really. So not everything's going quite according to plan today, but I do want to beat this dungeon. That is big goal. Right, because last time, if memory serves, all my yellows blowed up, which was frowny face. So I think last time our, oh well last time actually our issue was over there and now it's not there anymore because we reset the floor and that changed stuff. So what I'm going to do first, I would have liked the purples and the, the whites to have separated a little bit better. So give me all these beautiful little whites and avoid those yellows. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to destroy that. And then, oh my god! Uh. What do I. Oh, okay. I was like, I think I don't get that treasure anymore, is how this process works. I've never, ever seen that in Pikmin in my life. What in the world? <laughs> that dude just couldn't take it anymore. Jesus Christ. I was, I was like, oh, I have, I've never had to reset because my treasure committed honorable Sudoku, but you know, here we are. Okay, so I want the yellows because there's a whole bunch of, we do not have a lot of yellows. Maybe feeding them to the flowers was a mistake. Okay, where's the bomb guy? He's over there. I do not like this, like, cuddle pile. If he could like fuck off. No, that's not what I'm gonna do. Right, here he comes. If I could get him to like actually commit to coming over here, that'd actually help me out a good bit. Okay, he's about to take care of one problem for me. Just like that. <laughs> I was hoping he would drop the bomb. I'm, I think I'm actually gonna just wait for him to fly in the middle. Or he's just gonna kill all these guys for no reason. Not quite sure why he did that. How am I not hitting these beetles? And then I hit one. Okay, kill this guy. I think one of them died. Oh, no, I didn't. And the bright side is if you're playing with yellows, it, it really doesn't matter what you do. See, what I'm really worried about, I want to get him when he's in the middle. Everybody run. See, I just need them to like, kind of clear the way. Whoa, what was that sound? It's a bad sound. I thought I just killed them all for a second. That one might get him. It, oh no, he flipped, that's why, okay. We just lost one. Friggin' ledge. No. Come on! Get over here! 
Whoop. He's just still going. Okay. See, the problem with these bomb guys is you just kind of got to commit, don't you? They're going to kill him. That's what I mean. Sometimes they kind of get in this loop where there's not a whole lot you can do. I don't like him being there. I can't believe we lost one of the leads like that. Yes, yes, I know. He threw that. Oh, they're all dead. Okay, I was gonna say, I think as long as I don't move, we're gonna be okay. No reason we can't help. I want to go for these ones in the center because there's less of a chance of me getting flung off the edge. And we also want to make sure that we ourselves are not. I just missed all of it. One heart attack dealt with. I would really have loved for y'all to have not done that and killed this thing. Okay, whatever. It'll make y'all happy. Go ahead and go ahead and take this. Because nothing's gonna happen from that. There's only one left. There's two left. What else is there over here? You can't... Oh, by the way, they do have to be within range of each other also to do anything. Okay, we only lost one, and we didn't even lose it to the bombs, so... Space Wave Receiver. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, is there another one? Yeah, that... the, um... Okay. Why did the... Oh, I know. We'll wait till we clear out this whole thing. So let's go get rid of the rest of the beetles. He's dead center, so... And just because we can, let's, let's just deal with this guy while he's in a good spot. Okay. Let's, let's get rid of all these. No. Okay. And then I think I need whites. I think it was poison stuff, so. We have a ton of whites, which actually isn't... That really might have been my my uh, my fault. The thing I messed up. Okay, looks like they said no. Okay, fine. Put it all up. That's fine. Now, Armada of Whites, you are with me. That's the other thing. So we actually haven't dealt with Whites being uh, poisonous. Oh, and there's a fire one. He wants to just run off the stage. I mean, I won't tell him that. Oh, there he goes. That worked out. 
these spiders are like, I would rather die than give you my treasure. And the game is just more than happy to oblige. So just give me the reds then. There's still plenty of I should have, maybe I should have just turned more reds. I don't know. It feels like the, where is the red one? I don't know. So y'all want to just like kill this guy for me? It is very satisfying when uh, you just get to watch the enemies not do whatever terrible thing they're supposed to do. Like they do the fire thing and you don't just hear all your Pikmin in abject horror screaming. I'm gonna ditch y'all for a second. That was 10 minutes of me just being nervous. That's it for me. I'm gonna dismiss you. I just wanna make sure that. Okay. I would like the team. Now let's hope there's not a bomb here. Is there a bomb here? I think we still have some leaves, but we're just gonna have to tolerate that. And we didn't do all that work to not cash in on this. So, yeah, clean them out. I like they appreciate it. Like, this could have gone so poorly. Like, here's another geyser. Just get out of here. All right, we're almost halfway done with the death. So another thing I'll mention, because I don't think I've brought it up before, at the end of every dungeon, except the last one in the game, there is a... Uh, you will get some kind of item that helps you in some way, shape, or form. Hopefully this is the last floor. There might be two more. Uh, I kind of forgot, I was like, oh, we'll go back to the first level and then like work our way forward. But since to do all this stuff in the first level, you have to have blues, that actually is considered late game content, not early game content. Okay, this is also probably not the final floor. So it looks like we got at least two more floors. Maybe it is the final floor, what the fuck do I know? Nope, it ain't. Right. Something is making sounds already, and I don't like it. Oh, Lord. These things are annoying as hell. So the way they work is they shoot. That's all you have to know. So he's there. I'm just going to kind of run around real quick, set off all these bombs because I'm terrified of setting them off incorrectly. They d I will say, if you haven't noticed, they made the punch much, much stronger than it used to be. These. Yeah. So, oh, well, we killed one. So those are the, the jump scare things, and it's a good thing our Pikmin weren't there because they all would have flipped the fuck out and then uh, run off the ledge. So I see one of those is nearby. Oh lord. Okay, this was a mistake. Did all those guys just die? No. Everybody come back. Okay, he's coming. Let's just... We already might be at the point where we're gonna re-roll. Re yeah, we're about to lose a lot of dudes. Um, actually we didn't lose too many. Lost what, four? And I, yeah, these guys, as you can see, his health is going back up. They do regenerate. It kind of depends what we lost. I'll do, I mean, we'll try it and we'll just see where we're at by the end. I think we lost some whites, but... Okay. It might be... Strategical. Let me try something. So I'm gonna do. Oh. Can 
he hit me from there? We'll see. If I come up now, what does he do? Oh no, he knows. They went a bunch. Um, that went pretty well actually. We only lost two. All right, get him up. Get him out of here. I guess the explosion radius is much smaller than I thought. I mean, we've lost seven. Are we missing anyone else over here? No. Oh, we got that guy. I believe in the final dungeon there's worse. I believe there's one of those in like a true blue sniper tower where like, I can't remember if you either can't get him or he's like, it's yellows only. Okay, let me look real quick. And... It looks like yellows, it looks like we've mainly lost whites actually. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep running around. Finish what we started. I just didn't like the, I didn't like the look of that bomb guy so close. I mean, there's still treasure here. Maybe I should have brought one Pikmin with me to set off stuff. Let's go back and get one. I hate the dungeons like this. I like the, I call them like the baby dungeons. This one. Just give me one. Can I have one? Thank you. Oh, good. He's a fast guy. So it looks like we've got a buried treasure. That's the big thing is basically if we ever run out of uh, whites, we have to reset, just period. There's nothing we can do. If we don't reset, we just, there's no point in continuing. Let me just real quick, just gonna see you and pop that. So where is it saying there's a treasure? Is it like over here? Oh, there's that treasure over there, okay. Um, just give me reds, because I feel like a bomb is going to drop and I have more red flowers than anything. And I want them to be fast so that they don't get got. So basically, to go back to what I was saying earlier, I hope that one gets around it. Okay, it did. That's what we come to expect in Pikmin 2. But if you're like, man, this is kind of harsh. This is, they're not all like this. <laughs> this is a particularly bad dungeon. I don't think it's the worst, but it's definitely not a great one. We have a Pikmin going batshit over here. So come on, I don't know if I like it. Hopefully that's the last treasure. And they're all flowers. Just give me everybody, and uh, I don't know what that white's doing. I mean, it's a flower, so I don't really care, but... Everybody run. Everybody run. See, the, the stuff they do is just evil. But this is really the worst of dungeons, or caves, whatever I want to call them. 60. The Furious Adhesive, because it's red. Oh, there's still more treasure. All right, let me go figure out where it is. I'm getting something. Oh, well, yeah, we didn't even go this way. I got distracted. There's probably more enemies. Okay, there's that plate. Let's once more get the little army of reds and see if we can get away with that, because... I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need like 20. Alright, come on. Come on, guys. They keep getting stuck on these stupid rim... or not rim, latches. Let's go. Yeah, 
let's walk up. Get ready to pull them back. You know, I'll give it to the Pikmin guys. At least they had fun when they were this evil, you know? Like, I can just imagine, like, the evil look on their faces when they're like, what if? We just, why are you guys going, okay. I was like, do not go the longest damn way. Well, I think we lost seven, which is, I, I think that's just going to have to be acceptable losses. For what we dealt with, I think seven was pretty good. Especially because I felt like we lost like 30. So I don't know how it was only seven. Unless just that, maybe the blast radius for those fish things is just nowhere near as big as the explosion for a normal bomb because it seemed like they kept getting hit and just getting knocked down instead of blown up well, that was worth a shit ton 300 christ okay and that's it this is everybody and that guy and i think if we yeah so it's over here let's go That one purple is like, I will do anything except stay with the group. And we're just going to ignore that. Even if it goes off, I'm going to press the A button. And I'm not going to test it, but I'm quite sure you cannot leave behind Pikmin uh, in caves. I think even if they're dismissed, everyone will show up. So you can realistically just have your captain go to the end and go through. But I don't want to risk that and then have it save. I imagine it'll give you a warning. This might be the last floor. I mean, we'll see. We'll go down. No, it's not. There's more. I guess this is a tenor. Or if this is the last floor, it's a crazy looking last floor. First thing we always do is we just look around and we see, okay, so there's a red one, a purple one. Okay, this is another break floor. Oh my God, there's a lot of purple ones. Oh, these are actually any color, huh? I shouldn't have done that. I keep I keep doing that and then remembering that I shouldn't do that. So let's split everyone. I think we might turn whites into other stuff. Let me see how many whites we've got. We've got 25. I think we came in with 10. We have 26. Oh, we had 30. Um, so I think I want more yellows. Oh, it's a, it's a one -er? Okay, that is makes more sense then. I now understand why that's here. So we're gonna get more... We'll get more yellows again. Oh, what? What even? Oh, that's gonna be blue. Oh, that's not, okay. Okay, we're actually capped. I guess I should have thrown some off the ledge. Okay, I did not remember that about picking it too. So how many did we get? We get nine? That seems like a weird number to get. But apparently that's the number we get. And then this one's going to be worse because we actually are full of Pikmin. And then, I don't think there's a way to avoid. So I'd like, okay. So I want like, there's an easier way to do this. We're gonna put five in here and then go get the reds. So that, we went up 11 yellows. Then not five. No, it wasn't. Oh, you get to stay red. I still have more reds back here, right? How many reds do I have? Um, yeah, I'll, I'm fine to do that. I'm fine to turn all these reds into purples. When it comes to combat strength, you just, you can't beat them. Oh, well. 
And I gotta make sure I don't throw purples in there and waste the flowers, so. I don't know, if you're a Pikmin, honestly, I think you should be happy to get turned into a purple because that means like my personal value of you is about to skyrocket. Like you go from being the most expendable to the least. Makes me think the boss fight is on the next floor and they're just loading you up to get ready for combat, like replenish your numbers. I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't really, you know, obviously I don't remember all the dungeons. I was about to say, I haven't even gone to the other side. Is there anything over here? No, just the next floor. So, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could just call it there. You'd be like, all right, well, you know. That's that's all I needed. All right, let's, let's get everybody slurping. All right, we still have some leaves. So I'm going to leave y'all here. And you. You got to just hope to God they don't all gather up off of okay one of them managed to drink that i was like i could go for that one but i'm terrified that they're gonna fuck it up all right so get everybody together and then everybody drink up we still need more right, i'll stay back i do wish i don't know if the later pikmin games do this i don't need any of them um do y'all still have a leaf doesn't look like it. Yes, you do. I see it. Just give me all the yellows. Give me all the yellows and give me all the purples. Because all the reds and all the whites have flowers. Okay, I think now everybody's got a flower. Yes, okay. We're all flowers. We are ready for the final fight, which is hopefully the next floor. I think... I don't know. I think this is the one with the granddaddy long legs with a sh like a gun, but I don't actually know that. So down we go. We're already at 30 minutes, so we're probably not even going to do another day. We'll probably just finish this cave. Oh, that one guy needs to pick up the pace. Oh, I didn't put my phone. It's supposed to be. I have a spot so I can keep track of it if I get called or message about anything. I imagine this is either 9 or 10. Oh no, this is it. Okay. This is definitely it. <laughs> yeah, this is the one with the... The machine gun granddaddy long legs. I think there's like a can or something you're supposed to hide in. Yeah, it's that thing in the center. Is the boss. Let me look around real quick. I swear there's like a... A thing you can hide behind. Yeah, I think it's this. Let me try that out. So we're gonna leave everybody. I feel like you're supposed to use yellows. Whatever, we're, we're on a boss floor. So boss floors are just maximum cheese because you can just... Yeah, okay, it's gotta be yellows. Well, that guy's probably not gonna live. I don't know what it's doing. I think, uh, I think we're gonna reset. So I'm not, I didn't... Yeah, we're gonna reset real quick. <laughs> that's the, that's how it works, okay. I guess it was down for longer and I should have run. So okay, we got a plan. We're gonna do what we did with the purples. I might even juice up the purples and see how much we can do. That's fine. We know what to do now, kind of. Most of the army is worthless. 
Because only yellows are going to reach it when it's up on its feet. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I think we're supposed to get yellows. We need to get yellows and then not let him blow them all up. Okay. So I think the spot was over here. Wasn't it? Yeah, it's this thing. Let's just get the army kind of perfectly separated. So let's get right here and split. That's actually kind of perfect already. All right, so let's try this again. All right, let's go, boys. That's not good. Did he just fling? Yes, he did. This isn't gonna go well. Eh, Could have gone worse. We only probably lost three. I'm definitely willing to take that. <laughs> I think this is the immunity to electricity. Uh, a McCamp monstrosity is no longer functioning. An insect and a machine forming a symbiotic relationship. Life forms here are beyond. I can't believe it after each try. Initiating area scan. Glass sphere detected. Okay. I don't know how that was only three. I think it was all yellows. I think. That was a miracle. I did not know he would move. I thought if you stood back there, maybe he didn't come to us last because that one purple was sitting beneath him. I don't know. All right, what we got? I think that's the immunity to electricity. I don't know what else it would do. There we go. Mission complete. And we're over the hill for the dead. The stellar orb. If I combine this glass sphere with the synthetic sun I've been secretly developing, processing complete, I have now manufactured a solar system. Okay, never mind. I don't know what the fuck that means. The artificial sunlight it emanates will brighten. Okay, that's worthless. Oh, okay. So now instead of the normal darkness, it's clean. I don't really. You'd have to be in a bad spot to get to the eighth floor and then be like, all right, well, no more. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that as a W. I'll let the game save that. I thought it'd be way more than three. I thought it was going to blow up everybody, but he got in a bad spot. Yeah, let's see. We made it. Yeah, we lost 17, but all things considered, it could be way worse. And we're complete, so we never have to do it again, which is what really matters. It's all that matters, some would say. So 16 out of 16 treasures, and what was that, nine floor with two break floors? So that's not terrible. But that's, that is the longer side. Um, and then we'll see what's here. I think the day was like over, if I remember right from yesterday. 50. Oh, I thought it, we got 40 and 50. A lot of times when you get, I thought when you got both it would. So we have 90, so. Oh. That's not what I want to do at all. So let's see. Yeah, whites went up. I don't even think a white died in there. I do think a purple died, but we grew plenty of them. Whatever, take it. 
take it. Just gonna real quick run around, see if there's any other easy pickings. Feed the kids. I don't think there's gonna be anything over here. We cleared the area out pretty. Any of these wanna grow before the day's over? I don't think they're gonna want to. So we probably, we definitely went down reds. I think we probably only went down reds. We may have gone down yellows. We've got 25 right now. Rest of y'all go up. Let's see if we can get them all in seven seconds. Come on, sprout. Help me, Lily. Got him. All right, we're good. Managed to grow some yellows in the last sec. Oh, the music's like more triumphant, isn't it? Doesn't it sound like it? All right, well, that was our first real doozy of a dungeon, and thankfully it's in the past. There will be more, but oh yeah, I like this. They like they didn't do the they didn't do some stuff right, so the enemies will kind of flip out. Oh yeah, you can also sometimes with those uh, those beetles. They'll kill an enemy in the, the end of the night cutscene. They'll, like, if enough shoot bowlers at something, they'll just kill it. It's really funny how wonky it is. We made a shit ton of money. Yeah, made a shit ton. Look at all that. Big money day. Reds didn't do so hot. Oh, you know what? Reds did okay. So we gained 14 purples, 14... Uh, whites, red lost four, and yellow gained four. And we didn't even use blues. We lost nine to explosion. I guess battle, it probably counts like getting flung off as battle. I'm proud of the boss being like, Olimar, you're my hero, you've erased half of our debt. Still, things have become a bit dangerous. I'm going into hiding. Focus on work and don't slack off. Yeah, that was a good day. We made a shit ton of money. It's really good. Really, really good. Makes me happy. Makes me happy. So let's take a look. So there's... We're actually almost done there. There's a couple more above ground treasures, and then there's the Frontier Cavern, and then that's actually the end of the first stage. There's two more there, and there's a bunch more here, because it actually shows us that one. We are the, the only thing we did at the perplexing pool was get the yellows, which was very intentional. Uh, we might, I mean, I'm not going to do it right now, so we'll just see when I get in. We might just come back and try and finish the Valley of Repose. And I think I've brought it up. The way this game works is until you pay back the debt, these are the only levels you get. And then once you do pay back the debt, there's one more level that will unlock and you can get that. Uh, but it is very interesting. You know, it's a lot like Pikmin 1, where once you get all the Pikmin, the temptation is just do the first stage, then do the second stage, then do the third, which I might very well do. I'm not sure yet. I haven't thought too much about it. For the above ground treasure, the only thing I can imagine, you're going to have to be in my mind space with me. So if you remember, we crossed that bridge, and we went forward, and then on our right was the... We went forward, and then on our right, there was the, the dungeon we just did, the subterranean complex... And then further down was that beetle guarding the frontier cavern, or the grub, whatever you want to call it, that was by the crown. But if you also remember, right across the bridge, we could have gone left, and there was another rock blasting grub over there, and we didn't go that way. So I think the only place above ground it could possibly be is over there. So I'm just thinking next episode, we'll probably just go back to the Valley of Repose, do that, and do the frontier cavern, and then be done with the first stage. Because that's the other thing is of all the levels the valley of repose i think is the best for growing your pikmin because it's got all those plants but it's there's no level like in pikmin one like the the first stage where literally its only purpose is it has stuff that lets you grow a shit ton of pikmin there's no singular stage anymore that's just like 
It's very small. Here's a billion resources. Grow a ton of Pikmin so you can get back to actually playing the game. It, but the levels are also a bit better about, you know, giving you stuff. Like, they all kind of have their little start area that's full of shit to grow Pikmin. But anyway, I'm rambling. And oh, we can also look... We'll check the Piclopedia real quick and see. I can't remember what the fuck that stupid frog is called. The fish frog. So we got the hairy bulbul. Wake up. Yeah, and this, this is where it keeps all the boss creatures. So we've seen the Empress Bullbax, and it will tell you how many you've lost to it. The Burrowing Stack, yeah, it did a lot, but that was my fault. For just standing there. Wait, we've killed two? Where's the other one? And then now we have the Man at Legs. I'm glad we have infinite carrots. So we're almost not. Man at legs, pseudo arachnia, and now there's something blah blah blah. This species of the arachnor fused with machine get a crucial point in the maturation process, giving the ability to fire energy bursts. However, it does not control the weapon, instead the mechanical portions appear to automatically acquire and attack targets. The man at legs has a gentle disposition and as a member of the arachnor species that has no natural enemies. It's particularly difficult to understand why this species would develop such awesome offensive capabilities. We never remember the scientific community that it was the machinery that approached the arachnorb and proposed the symbiotic relationship. There he goes, now he's shooting. I will say it's pretty gnarly how it's got like the meat. Like you see like the red like flesh holding it together. That's pretty fucking sick. But anyway, that's enough of that. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2. I'm Vocab Hawk, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, everybody.